Hello everybody, welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin and I'm an Inkscape developer and I develop features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, thank you for joining me on this update. Um, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I put out a video. Uh, I've been horrendously sick, so apologies to everybody who's been waiting on updates on the PDF stuff or the CMYK stuff. Um, but this week we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're actually going to talk about the 1.4.3 uh, release. Uh, usually Inkscape does not produce a 0.3 release. Usually we go up to the next uh, big version, but the next big version of Inkscape 1.5 is actually going to be quite big, uh, including lots of uh, breaking cha changes, which will likely involve uh, a lot of testing. And uh, hopefully you guys will be involved in that to make sure that we're releasing something good. But what we decided to do was release uh, more point releases for 1.4 so that you guys can get access to especially fixes, but also some features as well. And um, to talk us through this, I have a guest with me. Um, please welcome Little Linux. Uh, would you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, um, you, I am Willy. And uh, yeah, you can call me Willy. And I'm from Taiwan. And uh, Currently, I am still a student, so yeah, I think that's it. Welcome. So, um, tell me about the uh, one point four point three release. Okay, uh, it is going pretty well, and we are ready to release a um, release candidate. Like, to, should I say on on the, on the fourteenth? On the 13th or 14th, like today or tomorrow. And um, yeah, there are a, a lot of fixes that um, were, some of them were regressions from, uh, like regressions is uh, bugs that were introduced in newer versions and not, does not exist in older versions. And I some see. of so them these are, are regression fixes. Yeah. So, so these are fixes to things that used to work, and 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 then we broke them, and then and now we fix yeah, them yeah, again. Yeah, 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 yeah basically. And, okay, so uh, what's so what's your like role that. in this in this in this release? What? Oh, sorry. What's your what's your role? Oh, I am the de facto <laughs> release manager. Yes. And I've, yeah. I brought you here main, mainly uh, so that we can get a sense of what the work of a release manager involves and um, also to um, highlight some of the non-programming work that goes on inside of an open source project like Inkscape. Um, mm -hmm. So what kinds of things have you found that you've had to do when it comes to making sure that the, the everything is proceeding? Uh, well, this is interesting because um we always had a contributors like a, a, a release guideline, but um, yeah. it is like loosely followed by individuals that know about the existence of the document. So right. um, like previously, we always had some problems with point releases, especially the point one releases. Like we, yeah. ha we had a problem with 1.3.1 and before that 1.2.1 also had problems. So I think I just thought that like this time around, I could copy the uh, copy the the list into the Inkscape issues. So that's what I've done. Excellent. So you you use um, a a uh, the GitLab issues tracker to basically uh, look after yeah. all of the tasks and things that you need to to do. Yeah, yeah. You, you can if you want. You can show the the checklist and um, yeah. it's very convenient to use the issue tracker because there like I can tag people and uh, tag like merge requests and also issues. So it's very easy to keep track of stuff. Like as opposed to uh, it being in another document, you know, right. And is it is it relatively easy to both uh, tag people into the to the tasks that need to be done, and also how do you interact with people in the pro project who uh, you know uh, have said they're going to do something, and then you've got to ch chase them up? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that 
the the like our our teams are pretty autonomous. So uh, I just like need to ask for some stuff. Like I was asking the other day for Marin, our documentation manager, to um like update the keyboard shortcuts files and tutorials, and she did just that. Excellent. Um, and, yeah, because because yeah. because there's quite there's quite a few moving parts, right? It's not just about updating the code yeah. and the release. There's also like a lot of other things, the documentation and and um, I presume things like release notes. Yeah, the release notes was also um, managed by Marin, which she she did a pretty good job. Program like Martin and also other developers like Tap and KRIR. 17 yep. is that what it's called elendio like they they had the um, bug fixing project where a lot of the 1.4.3 bugs were fixed uh within the scope of that project yes so the the bug accelerator pro program is a program where the inkscape project itself pays for programmers to focus on um fixing issues rather than working on features right mm -hmm, yeah is this is this program uh, do you think fixing the, the 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 main issues that users have? I do think so because they're um, like the. I would say that the buggiest part of Inkscape is the life path effect system, and in this program, uh, in this project, the, a lot of those bugs are fixed, and some of them are like so subtle that it really requires such a program, or otherwise, like no one will be incentivized to right. fix them. This is from what I understand from Tav doing those live path stuff is that a lot of these bugs require a lot of research. So yeah. you basically are spending a lot of time uh, reading code, understanding it, testing th theories, and not actually, it feels like not actually moving, um, yeah. but it's necessary in order to fix the, these like really subtle issues, right? Yeah. And like it may not even be a like huge issue that a lot of people experience, but it's it's still there nonetheless. So we still have to fix it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so you, you, you talked at the beginning about uh, doing a release candidate. Can you explain what that is? It is a, we, we don't usually do release candidates for um, point releases, but this time around, because there was a pretty serious crash, I would say, in macOS, where um, if you open a file from the finder, it would just crash. Wow. Like, so so in this case, you want uh, people to be able to test the release uh, yeah, before hopefully. you actually commit to the release, right? Just to confirm that things are fixed? Yeah, because um, in, in this case, we have a fix available for that. But um, since like every Mac is kind of different and there are so many um, OS combinations and hardware combinations that we would want users to test before we actually release into the wild. So um, when the release candidate is available, I'm going to put a link in the video description. So if you are interested in helping um, Inkscape out, and let's just say you have a desire to make sure that Inkscape doesn't crash immediately when you update it, this is the time to test it. Uh, your feedback can be uh, put into a report, and you can just uh, send us the information if you find an error. Um, this is important, especially for specific workflows that you have. If you are an esoteric user of PDF or a strange particular user of CNC machines, um, just running through a quick uh, sanity check of the release can can candidate uh, will seriously help in making sure that the, when the release actually finishes, um, that those problems are fixed. Yeah. And also, there are a lot of some, there are some PDF fixes. So if you have is, PDF yeah. files on hand, yeah, you can try to open them and see if they, uh, like, there are any crashes. Yeah, those those were fixes from Char Charlotte, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a, I think she's a new developer. Yes, yeah, I think she's new this year, uh, but relatively uh, solid work, especially on the PDF yeah. stuff. Yeah, she's very professional. Yes. Um, so. Do you, do you think we, we've we've made the right decision when it comes to making the point release rather than the full one point five? Uh, because like the the one point five release is stuck in a position where 
a lot of features are kind of available, but they are not finished yet. And some of others are like, um, we have the backend available, but the UI is not available yet. And also there are like all of these bugs and quirks that it is like just not possible to yeah. make yeah, to make it a <laughs> proper release. Like even if we tag it alpha, I don't think. Yeah, I even if it was tagged alpha, I think we would get in yeah. trouble for that. Yeah, I think yeah. I think you're right. From my, my own work is half finished, be, and like you say, because I want to have the CMYK stuff done for one point five, yeah. not just a little bit done, but like done. And yeah. that means that it needs to have a user interface. It needs to have the rendering engine properly worked out, and it's mm -hmm. taking a long time. But at the same time, I'm, I've been given this time to work on this stuff because of the GTK4 upgrade in 1.5. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this is not the first time that Inkscape has actually moved from a, f to a new G GTK version. Uh, when we mm -hmm. moved to the 1.0 series, we actually moved from GTK2 to GTK3, and that caused a lot of... Um, uh, mayhem. Uh, yeah, mayhem. Slow, slowness yeah. issues, especially on win Windows, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like anything other than Linux. Yeah. So every time that we get this transition, there's a, there's this period where, especially on operating systems like Windows and Mac, where we just don't know for sure whether the the um, the, the graphical user interface system is is stable enough. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that you will do more point releases uh, with Inkscape? It's a good question because. Um... Usually we do two point releases, like for each release, and then we move on to the next version. Um, for 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 this one, I would say we actually did like only two point releases because one point four point one wasn't really um, released to the public. Right. So there's like point two and point three. So now we're at two releases, and whether we will need a three a third point release, it's a I don't think so. I don't think so. But it could happen if um, if we don't like meet our standards when 1.5 is supposed to be released, which is mid 2026. So, so, so the release for the next major release is mid 2026. That's like uh, we have milestones on GitLab uh, on the like our, our development platform, and it was cr currently slated at. Um, April something, like almost May, but I don't think the 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 date is um, realistic. Actually, yeah, that's <laughs> honestly, I think that the one point four point three release was originally scheduled for what July August some like original date, and yeah. and it's been pushed further and further as we just needed more time to um, work on one point five, but also like fix fix issues. Um, yeah. That's kind of the that's kind of the um, position that we're in with volunteers, and we don't know how much resource we really have to to commit to projects. Um, yeah, yeah, and at the same time, we also want our fixes to reach the users, so that's why we yeah. do point releases. Yeah, it's true, especially if you're a contributor who comes in to fix a specific issue, and then it's like, well, when will my fix that I've just made be in a release? And you're like, oh, it'll be, you know three four years time right. now yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. really a, a good way of attracting new contributors yeah yeah, yeah. especially uh, in like we are already a project that doesn't really attract contributors because of the language choice and uh oh, from for c++ and, not not english yes, no. yeah no no yeah. <laughs> yes not not english why and uh and also the uh UI platform choice. So. For, for GTK, yeah. Yeah, for GTK, because a lot more people are comfortable with Qt than GTK. Aye. Um, so what's next for uh, the Inkscape release? The RC will get out, and if there are no major issues, then the 1.4.3 release would uh, come out at Christmas, I believe. So Christmas Day itself. Yeah, Christmas Day. Oh, yes. well, that's exciting! If we if we hit yeah. that, it'll be a Santa Claus Santa Claus release. Um, yeah, I, I, is is it is it the first time that we did a like 
Christmas release? I think so. It's, I think so, yeah. I think that's true. I think so, yeah. Um excellent. So thank you for your time and uh letting me interview you for a an update video. Is there anything you want to ask the uh watchers who Inkscape users uh directly? This is not um this is not confirmed yet, but we are possibly doing a year end year end um poll, like year end survey for Inkscape users. So you can look out, you can um like Follow our social media platforms. Yeah, on all major platforms. Yeah. yeah um, so, so if they, if people follow us, then we'll keep them up to date on things like a user poll. Yeah, and also other other stuff like we recently just made a post about uh, a a resource that was there for like fifteen years. There was a there there was a writer who wrote articles for. A magazine about Inkscape for over ten years. Oh yeah, the Full Circle magazine. Thing. The Full Circle magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you again, and um, ho hopefully the release will will go well. Yeah. Hopefully. Excellent. Um, thank you everybody for joining me with this update video. Hopefully you've had fun getting a, a sort of inside peek into how Inkscape is developed. And you can see from um, the kinds of individuals that we have involved in the Inkscape project, people are passionate. And um, the people who volunteer on the project are not uh, always uh, pro you know, advanced programmers who like program stuff. A lot of the help actually that does like the most impact is administrative. It's Marin's documentation, it's Willie's yeah. uh, checklists. It's like a lot of individuals doing small tasks together to sort of push this over the line. And um, yeah, I, I was hoping that we would highlight uh, some of the individuals involved. So um, yeah, I'll see you hopefully soon. I have a uh, holiday video planned. We'll see if that comes off. Uh, but otherwise, I will keep you up to date regularly with my own scheduled work. And I will see you next time.